Your Excellency Ambassador, my dear sister Natalie and your team from Lipton's uh, leaders uh, present here, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, very important occasion. As I am delighted to welcome all of you to State House and uh, to take this opportunity, especially to our friends from Lipton coming from outside Kenya, uh, to thank you and to say Karibu, welcome. Our collaboration across various sectors has significantly strengthened our partnership and benefited the citizens of both Netherlands and Kenya. Today we gather to celebrate a new milestone in our relationship and in our partnership. The agricultural sector is not only a fundamental component of our national economic activity, but it is also one in which our country is most competitive globally and has the highest employment multiplier effect. Agriculture also accounts for the incomes of two-thirds of Kenyans, while agro-industry contributes 40% of manufacturing jobs and 48% of our GDP. Under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, the government has committed to implement a value chain framework to invest optimally and achieve the greatest positive impact on agricultural productivity. The tea sector, in particular, holds immense potential in terms of local, regional, and overseas opportunities, and consequently boosting the tea value chain, especially through optimal blending and branding of Kenyan teas, is a specific commitment under our agenda. We have a major opportunity to enhance the economic contribution of the tea value chain as a key foreign exchange earner and a significant contributor to Kenya's global market presence by raising the value of our tea exports beyond the current 1.1 billion US dollars. <clears throat> this increase, this will increase, sorry, the incomes of approximately 5 million Kenyans employed directly and indirectly in the tea value chain, including over 650,000 small scale farmers across the KTDA and large scale farmers associations. To actualize the full potential of tea, it is time to enhance both productivity and quality by adopting a modern technologies across the tea value chain from cultivating high value, climate resilient tea clones to employing the best practices in agronomy, plucking, processing, and marketing. Additionally, we must undertake training for our youth, especially those employed in the tea industry, in order to equip them with skills and knowledge on optimal tea husbandry practices and value added processing. Quality training involving deliberate investment in research and training resources is essential, while robust partnerships with organizations in the local and international space, public and private sector, are indispensable in facilitating the transfer of necessary knowledge and skills in the tea industry. I therefore appreciate and co commend the partnership between Lipton Teas and Infusions and various other entities to establish the Lipton Tea Innovation and Technology Academy as an exemplary initiative with highly transformative potential for Kenya, our region, and the tea industry at large. I recall that only last year I held discussions with Lipton's corporate leadership in The Hague about the possibility of local value addition for Kenyan tea and the enhancement of national standards organizational ecosystem for a sustainable and responsible tea industry within our country. I very sincerely uh, thank you for making time. I insisted <clears throat> when I was at The Hague 
I insisted on meeting these good people. And um, they came forward. And we had a two and a half hour meeting. Sometimes difficult it was, but finally it came out as a very productive meeting. I am very um, grateful that that engagement 10 months ago today has fruits. We can measure. We can measure the outcome of that conversation. Um, as uh, one of the members of parliament has said, because of that conversation, parliament passed uh, legislation in our finance bill to remove taxes on packaging material for our tea, especially uh, tea that is meant for export. It is my commitment that we shall conclude that exercise and make it realistic <laughs> for packaging material to be imported into Kenya without taxes so that we can increase the value addition mechanisms in, in our country. I'm also very happy that today, because when I met uh, Lipton's uh, corporate leadership, I told them a couple of things. I told them, number one, we are partners. You buy the largest um, quantities of tea from us. We want to be partners because we grow the tea, you sell the tea. You cannot do without us, and we cannot do without you. So we need a much more robust, engaging partnership between us. And we agreed on the things they needed to do and the things we needed to do. We have done our bit, and I am very happy today they are doing theirs. That is the mark of true friendship. That today you are committing close to half a billion dollars for the setup of this academy in Kenya to support our tea industry. And the reason why the Ministry of Education is here and Tiveta is here it's because we want to do that which is going to make our tea competitive. I am very proud that today in supermarkets across Europe, for the first time, you will have a label that says this tea is from Kenya. For the first time. And I, we want to thank Liptons for making it a reality. We've always gone to all manner of places and on menus and in hotels. You're told, oh, are you interested in which tea are you looking for? Is it English breakfast tea or is it? For the first time, the English breakfast tea will be replaced by Kenyan tea. Because it's always, it, is, it has always been Kenyan tea, but it has always been labeled English breakfast tea. Thank you, Liptons, for making it a reality for us to have a Kenyan brand in supermarkets across Europe. It was the request I made, and I'm very happy that you have made it a reality. Secondly, we had also um, the discussion around how do farmers benefit more from their tea. And the conversation was around quality and it was around ESGs, that it is not enough to produce more tea but it is more important to produce high-quality tea. 
and that is in a context where the world is looking at. People are now very sensitive. Consumers globally are now sensitive about the social aspects of production. They are interested in quality and they are interested in the impact it has on environment. And the academy that is going to be set up is going to work with our Tibets so that we have skilled labor, we have extension service, and we can train farmers on making sure that they produce tea in a manner that we can sell to the market at premium prices. For a very long time, we concentrated on quantity, producing more tea. And in the process, we undermined our own business because we created too much supply. And with too much supply, the prices went down. It is time. And it's not the fault of farmers. We told farmers produce more tea, and that's what they did. I think it's time now for us, using scientific empirical evidence, for us to tell our farmers what kind of tea will give them the best price. And that is why this academy becomes very important. When I asked Lipton about this, this, they told me they will go and think about it. I'm very happy, Natalie, that you did not just think about it. You have decided to do something about it. And uh, today we are celebrating this uh, setup of uh, the academy in Kabianga. And uh, the, the, the academy in Kabianga is going to work with all our Tibets in all our tea growing areas. I am happy the members of parliament are here. The reason why um, uh, Lipton's are um, setting up this facility in Kabianga is because I think 80% of uh, their own uh, um, estates are in that region. But we have agreed with them that that academy is not even going to be a Kenyan academy. As mentioned by Natalie, it's going to be a global academy on tea. Because we must claim as Kenya legitimately the tea space. The same way everybody believes that the best wine comes from some place in France, the best tea in the world comes from Kenya. It is just as simple as that. And therefore, this academy will not only help us make sure that that best tea from Kenya continues to be the best tea, it continues to be the premium tea, but it's also going to meet the best international standards so that our farmers are trained appropriately to make sure that the social aspects of their production is clear, the environmental aspects of their production is good, and also the quality is always at the standard where consumers can give testimony that this is good quality tea produced sustainably. So I'm, I'm really happy that uh, we are doing this. The Tibet, the Tibeta, which is represented here, should make sure that all the Tibets in the tea growing areas become part of this academy so that even research and training of um, uh, agricultural extension officers and agricultural personnel will be spread across Kenya, especially in the tea growing areas, so that all our farmers have the right information the right training to produce the best quality tea so that as we brand Kenya, as we have the labels across the globe that it 
comes from Kenya, it must be it must meet the highest global standards. Farmers can only operate with the quality of information they get. And therefore, it is important that we make the most updated, the best quality information available to our farmers. I have said um, the pioneering initiative will position Kenya as a global hub for training top quality tea professionals and facilitate innovation throughout the tea value chain as well as the upskilling of existing tea farmers, thereby driving the transformation of the tea industry to deliver maximum benefits for households, the value chain, and our national economy. Congratulations to Lipton and the University of Kabianga together with uh, Tiveta for a visionary partnership in establishing an academy of this standard. I recognize with gratitude that the financial and technical contribution of Lipton teas and infusions made it possible to deliver on this initiative on time at this scale. Lipton, the world's largest tea business, which houses many renowned brands, has shown commendable commitment to enhancing value creation for all stakeholders in the Kenyan tea industry, and they deserve our commendation. I note with approval that this collaboration is explicitly aimed at promoting sustainable and responsible practices in the tea industry and developing Kenya as a global model in sustainable tea sourcing. We are therefore all aligned in the respect of this commitment to make Kenya's tea value chain competitive in terms of quality as well as in conformity with the highest social and environmental standards. I am also glad that Lipton has committed to supporting the development of a Kenyan origin tea classification to guarantee farmers good returns. Beyond the existing partners, there is scope for more stakeholders, including the State Department of Vocational Training, Higher Education, Agriculture, the Commission of University Education, County Governments, Tea Board of Kenya, KTDA, uh, Tea Research, together with international friends, supporters, and partners, to collaborate in making this academy a global center of excellence for training and research to transform our tea industry and make it globally competitive. You heard Natalie say, tea is beyond a crop. It, 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 it's a whole lifestyle and it's a whole economy. The, the establishment of the Lipton Tea Innovation and Technology Academy is a novel and specialized contribution to the, to the government's commitment to enhance access to affordable and quality education that will contribute to transforming the industry by enhancing tea production, value addition, and productivity through research and innovation. As we focus on research, innovation, and extension, I challenge the Vice Chancellor of the University of Kabianga and his team to take measures to ensure the provision of extension services to local and countrywide tea growing communities. Once more, I thank Ms. Natalie Roos and her entire Lipton Tea and Infusions team for the dedication to this groundbreaking partnership to transform Kenyan tea and commitment to collaborate with all stakeholders in order to uplift uh, the industry. I affirm Kenya's commitment to this and other similarly inspired joint efforts. Look forward to witnessing the Academy in action and offering the world a taste of best Kenyan tea and giving our farmers and other industry uh, workers a share of global prosperity. Again, to my, our friends in the uh, Netherlands, uh, the Lipton's uh, uh, family, 
and to the tea growing fraternity in Kenya. This is a historic moment for all of us. All the things we've always wanted. We've always wanted to claim our space as the best tea growers globally. I think now working with Lipton's slowly we will begin to occupy that space and brand our country for what it is, a producer of the best tea in the world. Um, we've always wanted to make tea pay more to our farmers. We now have yet another opportunity to make sure that we produce tea in a way that the most earnings and incomes go to our farmers by making sure that they produce sustainably, they produce good quality, and which is environmentally sensitive, and we can sell our tea for what it is. So again, I also want uh, to thank uh, the Lipton's fraternity for helping me answer some of my critics. You know, some people uh, ask me, what did you go and do in Netherlands? So I think today you have helped me, Natalie, to answer those people. <laughs> there are people who thought I came to Netherlands as a tourist. Now they know that I spend very good quality time. And today we have a 500 million academy supporting our entire tea industry of 5 million Kenyans. 650,000 farmers will benefit from this intervention. And for the first time, we will have Kenyan origin on the labels of tea in the world. That has always been um, what we've always desired because we were being shortchanged that Kenyan tea was being packaged as teas of other countries when it actually is Kenyan tea. So again, I want to say thank you very much. Congratulations to Lipton. Congratulations to Kapianga. Congratulations to our Tibets. Congratulations to our tea growing fraternity in Kenya that we are making strides in turning around our tea industry and making it much more competitive and to pay our farmers more and create more income for us and for an exchange for our country. Thank you very much. God bless you. Pongezi. Congratulations. I request your excellency that uh, the CEO and the ambassador can have a photo with you and the, and the team. Um, because now we, we, we seem to have aligned ourselves, the, the branding of Kenyan tea, uh, and I want uh, maybe the researchers now that will go into, into uh, the whole tea space, I am told that now it is confirmed that there is no problem that cannot be solved over a cup of Kenyan tea. <laughs> you know, so all you need to solve all, all your problems is just a cup of Kenyan tea, and you'll. <laughs> okay. <laughs>